All right, everybody, welcome back to Sklarbro Country. As promised, our final guest on the show. It's been a while since we've had him, but a lot of controversy and conspiracy theories swirling in the air. There's only one man we can talk to about that uh, in our sphere. Jesse the Mind Ventura, and we're going to try and reach him in the compound right now. Let's give him a ring. Yep, go for the governor. All right, All right Jesse, great. Sklar Brothers here. Uh, you are in an undisclosed location, am I? Is that correct? No, I'm. I can disclose the location. Where are you? Well, where are you right now? I'm not. I'm not a fugitive. I'm not hiding from anything. Okay. Well, where are you right now? Well, I just that's 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 confidential information. <laughs> I'm not just going to tell you. All right. Okay. Fine. But he's capable of disclosing. I can disclose it, but I can't. I can't divulge it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Put it this way: maybe I'm down there. I'm somewhere. I'm tracking the 150th anniversary, the Susquehannock of what? The, uh, the end of the Civil War. I'm down in Virginia, shadowing. The uh, reenactors for the Army of Northern Virginia. What battle in in particular? Well, we're looking at right now. We're, we've moved out of Richmond, and I'm shadowing them at a at a distance of about 500 yards. <laughs> uh, yep, I'm looking at I'm looking at the Robert E. Lee and reenactor right now. <laughs> yeah, oh, you got he, eyes in, on him. He, you got eyes on him. He's in your crosshairs. I got eyes on him. Yep. All right. All right. Well, that makes sense. Keep... We got night vision goggles. <laughs> we're, we got the Confederates on the sights. What I'm doing is I'm tracking them all the way to Appomattox. <laughs> smart. <laughs> That's just smart. I just like hearing. We're about to hit. Go. We're about to hit the 150th anniversary of Appomattox. <laughs> sure. I just like the way you say and the I word want Appomattox. To go find out what happened there, and what I'm doing is tracking that all the way to the assassination. The who? See what really happened with Which President I... Lincoln? Because you don't think that it was John Wilkes Booth. Well. Well, no, of course I don't think it's John Wilkes Booth. That's what the government wants you to think. Well, who was it then? That's that's what Horace Greeley and the mainstream media want you to believe. <laughs> okay, well then who do you think it is? Do you have like a, a, a hot theory, tip? a hot well, tip? Well, look, I think that maybe John Wilkes Booth was part of a larger conspiracy. Uh huh. I think there's documents. Some of these documents are on parchment. <laughs> <laughs> Would you receive that? I'm, I'm, I'm monitoring these documents. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. There may have, we're getting reports that there may have been a grassy knoll oh. at Ford's Theater. Uh-uh. <laughs> there that doesn't be. seem possible. There was no grass indoors. No. Is that what you're... Well, we don't know what the theater was like back then. We don't. Was know. it an open air theater? How would you? Yeah. How would you know? We weren't there. It makes I mean, you're that, in, that the production. You've heard that the production was a British play. What I'm getting is information that it was actually a Midsummer's Night's Dream. So, oh, so there was a grassy knoll on stage as part of the set. So there was plenty of grass in the theater. <laughs> yep. so, uh, and and, and, maybe and, President Lincoln was riding in a Kennedy car. No, oh, I don't believe that. There's no that. car back then. It's 1860s. Come on. That's what they want you to think. It didn't have to have an internal combustion engine. Okay. He's maybe right. it was a steam engine car. Uh, we don't know. We, we don't, don't know. know. Uh, Look, I, I'm going to have more on this information after after I gather the facts down at Appomattox. Let's, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my evidence, and I'm going to go on a tour, and I'll have a booth at all the major conventions. Uh, I'll have a John Wilkes booth. booth. <laughs> That's the way to do it. A John Wilkes booth, booth yeah, sounds yeah, like we'll a good... Go now, That's my fun. question is, when you're away from the compound, do you receive your basically your documents weekly on the road? Can you have them forward that to Appomattox? That's not something you can get electronically, correct? Look, you can get it electronically, but you don't get the color coding or the scratch and sniff. <laughs> That's right. So That's Dave, such a these are point. very big parts oh, of I it. Do get, I, I get physical copies. Sent on the road. have it mailed to me because I don't trust the USPS. Okay. Uh-huh. That, that I understand. I get it. I get things sent to me by messenger. You understand what I'm saying? I do. Yeah. Andy? That, that was, that was Jason. Jason. But yeah. yes, carrier pigeon, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So well, spe- carrier pigeons have their problems. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, go ahead. Well, listen, we talked about conspiracies. I want to like go at a few of them with you because the- right now there's Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Oh, now let's tackle All right. Hillary Clinton clearing out her hard drive. From all emails, and wiped all. away the emails, wiped it clean. What does that signal to you? 
Look, the only time I ever clean out my inbox is when I get through all my appointments on my calendars. That's it. So, so I think the larger conspiracy is going to be why is Hillary Clinton not admitted that she's an active member of LinkedIn? <laughs> she might be a member of LinkedIn. <laughs> What would that yep, do? She got, she got a LinkedIn. Inf- I have documents that prove she got a LinkedIn inv- invitation uh-huh. <laughs> from members of the Bohemian Grove. Wait a minute. <laughs> yep. And she's and gonna- she's LinkedIn partnered up with the Bohemian Grove. That's not good. That's not good if that's the case because that lives on a and, – And she spams. She spams. If you've ever emailed her, and I'm a governor, I get these emails. Yep. She spams you with uh, LinkedIn <laughs> invitations. That's yeah. what I think the real Hillary Clinton. That is the real. Is. Okay. Well, this is getting spammed by the what link. What I want to do is I want to find the attachments, uh-huh. <laughs> the physical attachments that were printed out. Yep. Get a trail of documents to get her on a paper trail. That's... I know it's an email scandal, but I'm almost incapable of understanding it unless there is a paper trail. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a paper trail in order for you to understand it. What about Ted Cruz? Let's move on to him. I mean, well, people- let me put it to the let me put let me put this to you, Jason. That's that was Randy. Randy. That was Randy. Okay. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. They're going to go ahead and tell you he's Canadian. He is, isn't he? That's the, that's the liberal line. Okay. The liberals want you to believe he's Canadian. He's not. The conservatives want you to believe that he's American. Yeah. Well, what do the independents say? You've got evidence. I've got evidence that he's actually from Mexico. What? How? 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 You wouldn't believe it. Well, what I did, (laughs) I scoured the available documents. Sure. It's your job. And that involves looking at the phone booth down here in Mexico because I'm on the ground. They never expect that. They never do. I'm on the ground. So you're looking at the... near sea level right now. Okay, good. So you're looking at the phone book. On the ground. Okay, you've got boots on. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the Mexican phone book, and when you open it up, you see a whole bunch of names that say Cruz. Uh Uh-oh. There you go. See? I'm not... Look, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about Carnival Cruise Lines, right? No, no that, that was Jason, Jason and yeah, yeah, that no, you're not talking about that at all. Yeah, what I'm talking about is I think Ted Cruz has has identifiable paper trail connections <laughs> to the Cruz families of Mexico, southern and otherwise. Okay. What about Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise, he might be in on it. <laughs> he might be. You never know. Yeah, look, I've already linked Penelope Cruise. It's only a matter of time. That's right. You just, when you bring in Scientology, that's going to blow it wide open. It's going to blow it wide open. Wide Speaking open. of wide open, the last thing I want to ask you of is a conspiracy that hits close to home for you. And, of course, it's the conspiracy that's happening in the WWE right now. The fact that Vince McMahon wants to install... Uh, this guy, The Rock's cousin, as the champion, and the people aren't having it. The people don't want to see him as the champion. He's not the people's champion. What kind of conspiracies? I can't wait to hear what kind of conspiracies you think are going on and what kind of fixing is happening in the WWE right now. Well, look, Jason, I don't that was see Randy. a conspiracy there. You that don't? Was, that was Randy, but yes. You, you don't? don't see, you see a conspiracy yeah, in no, everything? I don't see it, no. <laughs> I'm not paranoid about everything. <laughs> so... I, I'm only I'm only going after things that are identifiable, verifiable, certifiable conspiracies. And this is not a conspiracy. I, look, I have in the ring experience. Can yeah. you say that about anything, Jason? No, no that, that was Randy, Randy and no, no, neither of us can. Randy, I want to hear about you. That was Jason, and yes, I died. I, I, well, look, if you don't have in the ring experience, then you can't tell me that there's a conspiracy with nepotism. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> look. All wrestlers are related. <laughs> Through what? There's a lot of cousins. Uh-huh. You're telling me. You're telling me that there's no relations. Look, The Rock himself, his father and his grandfather. They were they were jumped in. They're part of it. <laughs> I'm blood brothers with over 1,200 wrestlers. <laughs> that is not true. No, he might be because they sh- they've shared fluids in the room. Brothers, you're gonna if you're if you're not looking at a cousin relationship or a brother, if you're not looking at some kind of family relations like. The wild Samoans, then you're you're looking at blood, blood brothers. That's yeah. the way it is. Okay, all right. You don't go in. Let me tell you something. You don't go into a family of trapeze artists and say, "Hey, it's not fair that you're related." That's the way they are. <laughs> the talent for the talent for flipping around on trapezes 
runs in genetic coding. It is a- maybe that's something to do with wrestling too. I I think if you've got a problem with wrestling, you got a problem with genetics. Okay. Do you hear me, Randy? <laughs> that, was that was Jason. Jason and yes, we, we don't have a problem with either of those. No, things. no, we hear you. We hear but you. But listen, Jesse, we're going to keep an eye on all the things that you're talking about, and I'm going to dig into this thing about Ted Cruz. Is he Mexican? I'm digging. And into you it. and you keep an eye out uh, and and eyes on uh, Civil War reenactors where you are in Virginia, and keep us posted on things. Get, are going. get to the root of it. Look, hold on, it's. Wait a second. I don't know what time it is there, but we're about 4.30 in the morning right here. Okay. 4.30 okay. right now. Okay. And I think it looks like the Army of Northern Virginia is starting to rally out of their camp. I did better get moving. Get, right, moving. get moving. Hold All on. Right. Get the muskets hot. All right. Grab them. Hold on. Grab the carabiner. <laughs> carabiner. So it should be in the other sack. Okay. <laughs> we got to... We're moving out. All right. All right. I think that my voice may have alerted the Confederates. Yeah, you got to be quieter. You got to see a different outcome in the world. All right. You guys can be be quiet. They're coming to us. All right. We'll talk to you. Bye. Be good. (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. All right. We're refighting it now. All right. We'll talk to you, Jesse. Be good, bud. Bye.